Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Logical Operators, and in this video we're going to continue from where we left off in the previous lecture, which was Comparison Operators. So we're going to learn a little bit more about the PHP operators, and I think you're going to like this lecture, so let's jump right in. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 15 logical operators. In your code editor, make sure you have open the final and practice.php files in your logical operators folder. Practice.php is the skeleton I provided where we're going to be building what is in final.php. The final example looks like this. We have a series of logical operators and the results in under them. So this will make more sense once we dive in, but let's start with our lecture. Logical operators are just that, logical. It's like speaking English. They're very helpful when you need your if, else, and else if statements to be a little bit more complex. So check out this table provided by php.net. So we have our example, name, and result in this table. The first one is the and logical operator. So you can see here, example, variable A and variable B. It is true if both A and B are true. The next one is or, true if either A or B is true. The next one is not. You could see the exclamation point, then the variable. True if A is not true. Hopefully that makes sense. That'll probably make more sense once we start coding with it. The next one is and. It's an alternative version. It's two ampersands. True if both A and B are true. And the last one is an alternative version of or. Two pipes rather than writing or. True if either A or B is true. So here's an example of how you would use one of the above logical operators in a very practical situation. So we have username, password variables, Johnny Boy and QWERTY. If username is equal to Johnny Boy and password is equal to QWERTY, then execute some code. So if this statement is correct, so if username is equal to this and password is equal to this, so both of these have to be true for this to evaluate to true. If one, either or, or both are false, then it will evaluate to false, and then go to the else statement, which says echo, your username and password combination are incorrect. So why don't we jump into our code editor and get our hands a little dirty. So let's start off with our constants and variables and so on and so forth. The title is logical operators. We have our custom variables that we usually add. It's so my name and lesson num. Start off with the title. Paste that in between the small tag and the h1. And then the lesson number. We're going to php echo lesson num. Down at the very bottom, add the year using php echo date, capital Y for the full year, and your name using the my name variable, php echo my name. Perfect. Let's get into what is most important. Up here in the custom variables, let's add our own custom variables. So let's start with username. And let's say the username, like in the example, is Johnny Boy. And then password is equal to QWERTY. Now, PS, worst password ever. Don't actually use this password in real life for anything. And in this case, we're just writing out a sample password. In all cases, when you're using a password variable, in your PHP programs, or any other program for that matter, you encrypt the password. And PHP has a built-in function that can help encrypt the password to prevent hackers from accessing sensitive information. But in this case, we're just going to type it out so you can see how it works. And let's add a couple more variables. So let's say cart total is equal to the integer 19.99 and coupon code is discount please all right so there we go we have our custom variables now let's go down into our sandbox and start playing around so and let's start with and already have the php script here so if username is equal to johnny boy and password is equal to qwerty Then, echo, paragraph tag, and we'll say login info is correct. 
All right. So why don't we check that out? So if the username is equal to Johnny Boy and password is equal to QWERTY, then echo that. And here's your final example or your example. Login info is correct. Perfect. Now, if you were to change any of these to something else, you can see nothing happens because it evaluates to false. You can add an else statement there to echo a different statement if you'd like. Let's go down to the or logical operator. And let's say if cart total is greater than 15 or coupon code is equal to discount, please. Then echo, you get a discount. So you could see in this case, if the cart total, so if you've ordered more than 15 presumably dollars worth of goods, or you have a coupon code that says, no spaces, discount please, then echo, you get a discount. So basically we're assuming in this case, we have an online store, a shopping cart, where if you order more than $15 or you use a coupon code, then you get a discount. Let's have another else statement here and say echo you don't get a discount so if it's less than 15 or you don't have this coupon code then you don't get a discount so let's check it out you get a discount okay cool so let's uh let's change something here let's change this to say if the car total is greater than 100 or you have the coupon code discount, please. Let's check it out. So you still get a discount because you have the coupon code discount, please. So why don't we change this to something else? Discount now. So both of these evaluate to false. You don't get a discount because you don't have more than $100 in your cart or you don't have the coupon code discount now. So you can see how that kind of works. Uh, put those back to their defaults. Now let's go with the not operator. So let's add a, another variable here and say own dog, meaning uh, like if you own a dog, if you have a dog in your possession. So let's say true. Own dog is true. If, all right, bear with me here. If not own dog, then Echo, you do not own a dog. Else, echo, you own a dog. Okay, so let's see if this makes sense. The own dog variable is a Boolean variable and it's set to true. So if not own dog, meaning if own dog is not true, then you do not own a dog, else you do own a dog. So if I were just to say, if own dog, this evaluates to true, then it would technically evaluate the first one, which is kind of an inconsistent statement. So if not own dog, if you do not own a dog is essentially what this is saying, then echo the first, else this. So let's check it out. You own a dog because own dog is true and this is checking if own dog is false so echo you own a dog now let's say own dog is false if not own dog let's see what happens you do not own a dog so own dog is false so it's checking to see if own dog is not true that's what the not operator is looking for it evaluates to true if the expression is not true. So in this case, own dog, the variable is false. And if it is not true, then it is evaluating to true. So hopefully that makes sense. And let's jump down into the and condition, uh, logical operator. It's the same as the other one, just typed differently. If Username is equal to 
Johnny Boy. Ampersand twice. Password is equal to QWERTY. Then echo login info is correct. Else echo wrong login info. So let's check it out. Login info is correct because Johnny Boy and password are evaluating to true. And last but not least, the alternative or logical operator. Same deal as the other or. If cart total is greater than 15 or two pipe symbols, coupon code whoops, is equal to discount, please. Then echo you get a discount, else, echo, you don't get a discount. And let's give it a go. You get a discount because your cart total is greater than 15 or you have the coupon code discount, please. Perfect, so quick little recap. We've added our constants and custom variables, username, password, cart total, coupon code, all strings except for less and num, which we've always done, and cart total, which is an integer as well. Down here, we added the and or not, and, and or. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. Let's try again. And or not and and or logical operators. And we did some practical examples with how you would actually use them in PHP in a simple dynamic website. So hopically that made sense. And if it didn't, restart the lecture. That's the beauty of the style of teaching. And hopefully that was valuable to you. I'll see you in the next lecture where we will be covering arithmetic or arithmetic operators, arithmetic operators, basically math using operators. All right. Goody. See you there.